I live in Philadelphia and um, it's a fantastic city, one of my favorite places to be. I'm also actually really a country girl at heart. Um, I'm from a small town called Harleysville, Pennsylvania, um, but Philly is my home now. So Afro Chic is all about modern soulful style. That's the tagline to everything that we do. Um, it's all about modern design mixed with soulful ideas, and a lot of that really comes through with culture. You know, culture and design and blending that with modern spaces is what we're all about. Well, so the story's a little bit funny. Um, I started because I was always talking about design and writing about it and just online looking at things I really liked and I would talk to my husband about it. You know, I love this Philip Stark ghost chair. You know, womb chairs are my favorite and he had no idea what I was talking about. And he was just like, you know what, why don't you start a blog? I've heard about these things called blogs. You might be able to find an audience out there. And so I went online, started on Blogger, you know, and just started putting down my favorite finds. Um, actually, one of my first favorite finds was this woman from Philly who had these really cool textiles. And it just grew from there. Every day I found something new I wanted to share, and that's what I did. Well, actually, a lot of really great things are happening right now. We're about to go to Paris to actually present at our first trade shows. We're presenting all of our designs to the European market, which is really going to be just a whole experience that we're really excited and sort of a leap forward for our brand. Um, we're also writing a book. So Afro Chic is not only going to be now, you know, a blog and a place where you can find style, but now the book is going to really identify homes that really showcase Afro Chic style so that people can actually bring that style home to their own interior. The book comes out in two years, so we're fast at work scouting homes, looking for great places to highlight, you know, modern soulful style in everyday spaces. I mean, anything is, I, I just look around my environment. I mean, because I live in a city and Philly is a fantastic city, it's all about entrepreneurship, art, design, it's all there. So when I step outside my apartment, there is so much out there to explore and see. I can go to the art museum and get inspired by something from the past or something that's, you know, right now in the present. What new art, what new designs are out there. Also travel. I mean, we're about to go to Paris um, and just seeing a new city, seeing a new place and actually experiencing another culture is always inspirational. You come home with new ideas, new thoughts about design, and, and that's what I love to do. The first place that comes to my mind for some reason is Tahiti. Um, just somewhere that sounds, you know, exotic, so different from the environment I'm in now. I love beaches, so somewhere I could just lay on a beach and sit back and enjoy life just sounds like it would be an amazing environment to go to. Um, I'm so, so, I don't want to admit my bad habits. I like to say I have no bad habits. Um, I think my biggest bad habit is I have a Starbucks addiction. Friends know this, it's a little bit bad. Um, I like chai lattes a little bit too much. <laughs> These shoes I got from Jeremy's in San Francisco. If anybody is out here from San Fran, you know that it's like this little hidden gem where you can get the most amazing designs. I think I got these for like five bucks at a sale the day they have it after Thanksgiving. My favorite shoes and they were pretty affordable.